Hello Bella. Hi. Thank you for agreeing for this video. <laughs> and please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Isabella and I'm studying Viso and this is my second semester and I did the entrance exam last year. And last year was a big shift uh, for the visa exam, so for everyone's watching this and who has friends from the past past year, let's say 20, 2023 and before, what they will tell you it's a bit different to how the reality is now. Because you also had a friend tell you it's super chill, don't yes. worry about it, but then it was so slightly different. Mm -hmm. So what changed? How, how, how was it uh, 2024? Uh, well, before I feel like it was a text mm -hmm. and now it was pretty similar to the BBA in France exam. So there were like math part, the German part and also economics part. Mm -hmm. And you had to read uh, one book and three chapters uh, of another one. Or three to six chapters, mm -hmm. I don't really remember. But now they have a whole book. Yeah, mm -hmm. now Just they one. connected the, the, all the chapters I guess in all one. So it's a bit more convenient for you to read it. And third part, so. Um, the OSA for visa, because people are not doing the OSA for BB and for visa, or just for visa, or just for BB. Mm -hmm. uh, was it comparable, comparable difficulty? Um, the maths part, it was uh, in visa, it was easier. Mm -hmm. I feel like it was easier because BB was really <laughs> yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they were the same amount of questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like they were matura level, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like okay. matura. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. And for economics? Um, they were also pretty much the same, mm -hmm. but in Viso we had a lot of questions about uh, Sukut. <laughs> basically about sustainability and future of economics. So yeah, like also in the OC, right? Mm -hmm. I guess yeah, makes sense. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, little note that I would like to mention because we discussed it. There is actually going to be English questions in the OC for Viso, but you don't need to know English. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, you don't need an English certificate for Viso. Yeah. Yeah, just <laughs> for can, those. Yeah. <laughs> Were there like a lot of English German questions uh, in OS OSA or was it mostly German language text? Uh, no, everything was in German. Mm -hmm. uh, the only English part it was a text in English, mm -hmm. and then there were questions in English from the text. It was like uh, oh. reading comprehension in English. Okay, so uh -huh. it was uh, one German text, one English text. Exactly. Oh, okay, so two texts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because on for BB you have I think one. Yeah, just for the OSA, <laughs> visa double the. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I think you have the same amount of time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yes, there is that. <laughs> so OSA, don't stress about it too much. It's it's okay, but let's because the exam is what matters the most, and that uh, they introduced a closed book exam. So before it was an open book. We have a video with Amadeus, and we talked about you just have open questions. You can type. It's not supervised. I think you have plenty of time to do it, so it wasn't a really hard part. But in 2024, they introduced this change to kind of filter out the applicants a bit more. So to have like a higher level, let's say, of knowledge before someone would get into the university. Because uh, as Isabella told me, there were a lot of uh, niche types. So in the introduction and orientation phase of visa, it's not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> so people kind of ex don't expect it to be super easy because of the exam was super easy. And they don't have this kind of false hopes because once we actually get in, <laughs> it's it's really hits you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's experience of many, many students. Um, uh, so yeah, so the exam. Now it's closed book, multiple choice, so the, sa the same platform as BB, Viceflow, and let's discuss part by part actually, because that's the thing that people are most interested in. <laughs> okay. So let's start with economics, for example. Mm -hmm. How was it for Viso? Uh, for Viso, also the same amount of questions as BB. Mm -hmm. Two times. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Um, they were pretty similar, <laughs> like yeah. content-wise, also, uh, but not that much accounting. Yeah. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. Because last year BB had a lot of accounting, mm -hmm. uh, but Viso not that much, and also the the um, Zukunft. <laughs> yeah. So the basic Nachhaltigkeit und Zukunftswirtschaft. It's basic the sustainability, like the terminology behind it, I guess, or like how uh, icebergs are melting or like yeah, this exactly. climate change and everything, because it's a big topic mm -hmm. in the program as well. Yes. Once you get in, also for BB there is a course about that, so I guess that's why they ask. Mm -hmm. But what was it like more? Like terminology based or like more general knowledge based? It was terminology based. Okay, so, mm -hmm. so if you're not a native German speaker, <laughs> yes. focus on those like <laughs> understanding the words because of course if you're from Austria, from Germany or from the basically German speaking country, mm -hmm. uh, or you study in German, uh, then it's a bit easier. But if it's not your native language, please read the book a bit more thoroughly because yeah, I have to study for that exam yeah. now. <laughs> no, now it's changed. Mm -hmm. And how was the text understanding part, the reading comprehension part? 
Uh, for me, it was really difficult, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but I have heard people that didn't complain. <laughs> they say it was pretty easy, mm -hmm. so it depends, it varies. But uh, it was about Red Bull, I think, mm -hmm. and it was just this one big text. It was pretty big, and mm -hmm. the questions, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that was it for German. There was okay. no grammatic or mm -hmm. vocabulary or anything else. Nice. And a comment about Red Bull. So basically, the founder of Red Bull is a uh, Wu <laughs> alumni. <laughs> so that's why, of course, all the events have Red Bull sponsorships. You have free Red Bull around, and yeah, that's why <laughs> I guess they mentioned it in the text as well. It yes. Makes sense. <laughs> I uh, so yes, so just text and mm -hmm. I guess 10 questions about the text or less? Uh, I feel like it was mm -hmm. 10. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. around the, oh, you will see, mm -hmm. we'll yeah. see how it's going to look like. <laughs> 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 and the part that people are sometimes scared of because let's say if they're not familiar with Austrian Matura, they're a bit unsure how it's going to look like. How was the math part of Wiesel? Uh, it was like Austrian <laughs> Matura, <laughs> uh, but in the link you can have uh, the PDF from mm -hmm. like uh, Maturas from last year or something. So I would like recommend looking into that because mm -hmm. they were they are similar to mm -hmm. what's in the exam. Yes, yeah, so visa mm -hmm. is a bit easier compared to BB because after thing after you prepare for BB, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything <I> else <laughs> is just <laughs> a cup of tea, <laughs> a piece of cake, and stuff. All these metaphors. Um, so yeah, so be ready because BB. Um, I think the mathematical questions there they do put in more effort into changing them compared to Matura. They mm -hmm. take it as a basis, but of course new statements, harder statements. Yes, exactly. Uh, but for Vizu, I think now it's still because it's much uh, like they have many more places compared to BB. Maybe that's why they, can they still keep it a bit <laughs> <in> at the <laughs> chill <laughs> level. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And regarding competition, because that's uh, there is a I have a group chat on Instagram for Wu Vizu applicants, and people last year were discussing their scores. And they introduced a minimum score of 70, that's what I heard from the applicant of last year. And then they took people as close as possible to the score if they have some places left. So I've heard that one person with 68.6 got accepted, so it was very close to 70. But the person with 68.4, I think, did not. So it was a very slight difference and it changed the outcome for all the two students and they were fine. So please still, uh, I mean, it's not that stressful, it's easier, it's fine it's if you study on your own, it's totally doable if you study mm -hmm. a bit. But please don't uh, try to listen to advice from the previous, previous years, it's now not yeah, no. very relevant <laughs> anymore. <laughs> uh, yes. Now yes, now I've changed a bit. Mm -hmm. And are there any tips and tricks, time management, or what do you, you like to mention? Well, uh, for me, I started studying like a week before because I with your course mm -hmm. for BBE, and then just like transfer that to German, mm -hmm. and that was enough for me to get in. Mm. Uh -huh. So if you're studying for BBE and know German, I feel like you can combine the both of yeah, them. Yeah, just like mm -hmm. the two words in your head, like. Oop. Yes, <laughs> them. but also really get into the part of sustainability yeah. uh, of economics because that's also a big part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's say if you're studying for BB on your own or also with my course, you will have the mathematics part covered. Yes. Economics, accounting, supply and demand, stuff like that will match, of mm -hmm. course. It's the it's marketing it's also. Uh -huh. it's, uh, you can't reinvent it, <laughs> but sustainability is not that big of a part of the BB reading, like reading that you're supposed to read for economics. But for Visa, yeah, I yeah. guess because you have a full subject dedicated to that, <laughs> <laughs> I guess they kind of make sure that you know of it. <laughs> uh, so please study. And if you're applying to both programs, you kind of, it's two birds with one stone. Um, so yeah, it would be. Yes. Yeah, nice. And how is your experience here as a, the first impressions <laughs> of Vienna, Stop courses, the first Well, ones? Vienna is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I love it here. Uh, the steps uh, have been really hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um, especially uh, Faubel and Sui. Mm -hmm. They're like from the uh, Nahalti guy again. <laughs> yes, the <laughs> <laughs> again is like, uh -huh. follows you everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it follows you <laughs> everywhere. Mm -hmm. But now I have seen the book that that comes in the mm -hmm. in the entrance exam and they have a lot of similar similarities to the to this course mm -hmm. yes so once you get in you will have some repetition i mm -hmm. guess so preparing now will also pay uh, be yeah, worth pay it later yeah. yes it's gonna be yeah like definitely <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you'll have a slightly easier time during your studies because trust me you need some some easier time because mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not that easy as i heard <laughs> from people like the stove phase that you have to pass to get into the other courses like the Common like Sebaka, Common Body of Knowledge courses. Uh, say, but it's worth it, you know. Yeah, you have to totally try. You have to still. It's it's an experience. <laughs> <laughs> You'll become more stress resilient. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. And uh, how were you, like how's this like the stop? Because people are like uh, like 
a bit scared of them because people hear that it's hard. <laughs> How is the study experience? Do you have all the lectures? Do you have to attend them? Is it? Um, well, you don't have to attend them, mm -hmm. but you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And then you have the exam pretty much every two months mm -hmm. in the Prüfungswoche. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you don't pass, you can repeat the next one mm -hmm. uh, in two months. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or if you do like summer uni or winter uni, you can do in the next month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't have that at BBE, do no, you? No, you can't. Uh -huh. it's, uh, it's, it's fixed. <laughs> There's one date. <laughs> if, you, if you can make it, see your problem. <laughs> um, so yeah, so yeah, at Visa you have more flexibility, I think, regarding attendance. Yeah. And also regarding the exam dates, because at BB it's slightly different. You have stricter attendance rules, and you also have exam just a fixed date, and you can't really pick which date you go. At, uh, so yeah. yeah. At Visa you can also start at the summer semester. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. BB can't, <laughs> <laughs> because the first courses that are mandatory are they only start in October. So yes, and Visa is a bit flexible, but there are al also many, many more applicants in Visa. Mm -hmm. There is like almost well, two thousand seven hundred and three people, yes. so students that they mm -hmm. take, uh, so <laughs> it makes sense for them to offer a bit more flexibility because imagine fitting all of this crowd in one room. Yeah, it's a uh, Yeah, and just a question for people who are international and moving abroad here, was it hard for you to switch from um, to German for studying? Uh, well, maybe <laughs> a little. <laughs> I have to think about it. No, but um, I when I was in school, I did courses in, in German, mm -hmm. but the fact is that here you have to read a lot. For the exam, you have you have lectures, but the main thing that you have to do is read the book. Mm -hmm. So if you're not used to reading in German, like a lot, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, makes sense. <laughs> yes. So practice it because I think knowing German for C1, like spoken language is one thing, mm -hmm. but academic vocabulary, writing in it, yes, speaking exactly. economics and everything, accounting, slightly different. So if it's not your native native language, of course, you have to get a bit of extra time for that yes. to dedicate. And I think one of the last questions that people are wondering about is, was it easy to make friends? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> At the beginning, I went to a speed friending that mm -hmm. they did here, and then I, and I met a lot of people but I feel none of those friendships really stick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was just like five minutes, mm -hmm. 10 minutes conversation. And then at the lecture, um, I managed to meet also al some people, yeah. <laughs> but also not that much. Mm -hmm. So it's it's harder if you just have lectures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have to maybe to approach people as well, because yes, exactly. yeah, like if someone approaches you, that's good, but that's unlikely to happen, <laughs> but that's unlikely. So yes, mm -hmm. but it's manageable. I think with time you get used to the city, to the yes. beautiful climate here. <laughs> but because also here at Peru you have like a lot of um, like activities mm -hmm. that don't have um, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's good to make friends. Yeah, actually, uh, they were there. Uh, so this is a students' union uh, that organizes events, and also yeah, basically this kind of yeah, they do a lot of manage. events. Uh -huh. yeah. So you can meet a lot of people there mm -hmm. and make friends. Yeah, then would you recommend someone to, move, like, just like a <laughs> outro to this video? Would you, like, looking back at all the experience before, would you recommend yourself back in the past, let's say, <laughs> to come here? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just, like, prepare myself, myself for the steps mm -hmm. before they began. So, like, really uh, start reading before. Mm -hmm. um, because, yeah, again, reading in German for me was really hard at the beginning it was a shock <laughs> 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 because it was so much material in so little time mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. yeah yeah other than that Alan, because actually this is beautiful weather so in, in case you're from a warmer <laughs> country from a warmer climate <laughs> bring a nice jacket yes definitely. when we met <laughs> two hours ago <laughs> it was sunny it was like plus 15 i think it was yes. very warm <laughs> and now it's raining and it's windy it's cloudy so get ready for that <laughs> as like a tip and trick <laughs> for people who are moving to vienna from far away so yeah yeah definitely <laughs> if you're coming for the winter semester prepare <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 prepare in advance <laughs> Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you a lot uh, yeah, for of taking your time to help out future applicants regarding because no one knows what to expect honestly like it's the <laughs> first year that they uh, introduce this new kind of format to the exam so thank you a lot and people will uh, of thank, course. You, thank, thank Isabella for her experience <laughs> and sharing the information yeah and then subscribe stay tuned for more and see ya see ya <laughs> <laughs> that was nice yeah.